so am I looking? <laughs> okay. We hope. <laughs> Yes, uh, my name is Mariandina Zuniga and I am doing a Master of Finance. I am from Honduras and I'm studying here at UTS. Hi, my name is Angela Ogola. I'm studying Masters of Engineering with a major in Geotechnical and at UTS University. Hi, my name is Mupindi Shea, but everyone calls me Mupi for short. Um, I go to UNSW, I'm in my first year, Bachelor of Commerce, majoring in Finance. My name is Geng Mao Wang. I'm studying at UTS for the, uh, the Bachelor of si uh, Science in IT. I'm a last year student. My major is Data Analysis. Hi, uh, my name is Vishesh Kalsi and I study at UTS. I'm doing a four year degree. Um, that's Bachelor of Computing Science Honours and uh, as of now I'm into my second year. I came here the 26th of December last year. <laughs> so I have been here for three months now. Ooh. I arrived in December of 2021, I had to think about that, um, right when they opened the border. So I think around the 19th of December, 2021. I arrived in Australia on the 28th of December last year, that's 2021. So it's been around two and a half months approximately that I've been into Australia as of now. Actually, I have been living in Australia for more than three years now. So I'm quite familiar with all the things in Sydney. Um, I arrived in Australia in December, um, Christmas Eve actually, <laughs> and it was pretty sad for me because I was like, oh, I'm away from family. But then people here are really friendly, and I mentioned it in the workshop, like some stranger in the elevator will make a conversation with me, which is something that I'm not used to where I'm from. Um, but it's been really nice, people are friendly, meeting a lot of new people from different countries, different cultures, so it's been good, yeah. Well, it's kind of funny <laughs> how it all happened. I was just casually meeting a friend to study here at uni and I heard a lot of people having fun in a room so I just <laughs> walked into the room and I asked what it was about the thing and someone explained to me and I was like, I have to be part of that. I want to do that and when I heard that it was about volunteering, I was keen to do that because I really want to know more the, the Australian culture and give back to the country that opened the doors for me. Awesome. <laughs> Ooh, so why did I apply? Definitely to get me out of my comfort zone. I can be quite uh, shy. Oh, I've been described as timid before, which is a horrible <laughs> description. Um, so it's an opportunity to um, work with the uh, uh, Australian um, people to so get to know the different um, working cultures. It's an opportunity to also meet other students because as much as face-to-face um, -face learning has come back, for some of my modules it's still online. So it's really an opportunity to just you know, have a face-to-face -face meetup with other students and get to learn about their experiences as well. Um, I applied for Ausleep the day I got to know about it. So there was this email that I got from um, the UTS careers, I suppose, and uh, I opened the link that I got because I do make it a point to check on the emails that I get regularly. So I opened the link and I found it to be pretty good. I mean, I found it something that I have kind of never done. So yeah, that's why I applied for Ausleep. Uh, it's completely by chance. Uh, I just received that in my university mailbox and I said uh, this is such an interesting uh, project and I, at the time I was struggling with finding an internship uh, out there but uh, I, was, I would never imagine uh, these uh, opportunities were open to uh, international students like me. I literally stumbled across it on Instagram on studying New South Wales. Um, and it just looked really fun. It looked like a cool opportunity to meet new people, learn new things, and to also just give back to the community in a way that's fun and not boring. Um, yeah, so it was just mixing the two things because I'm pretty introverted, but I wanted to just step out and make friends and meet new people. So it seemed like a cool opportunity to do that whilst giving back to the community and making a difference. The best thing is the multicultural experience and meeting people from other countries, uh, people that uh, think different than me, um, 
and yeah, give back to the community, most of all. <laughs> Ooh, meeting like-minded people, um, it's very multicultural and everybody is really nice and it's nice to know that I'm not the only one who had like reservations or being nervous, so we're all in our, um, out of our comfort zone. So, so far it's been enjoyable, it's been great to also learn from other people's experiences and know about their journeys and yeah, how far they've come. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. The best thing about the program so far is the vibe of the speakers. The vibe that Aaron and Heather, these guys that they carry and the friends that I've been making, these two things, they're the best things. So, yeah. So far, I've uh, made a lot of new connections. Uh, I meet uh, heaps of uh, amazing people, and and uh, these uh, opportunities are open to us is like unimaginable before this program. The best thing? Uh, so hard to pick one. <laughs> um, I think number one, meeting new people. Um, because I go to UNSW and most of my classes are online so I don't really get to meet people in person um, but here I've made friends from ACU, from UTS, from different places and different countries and I've learned a lot like the way like people interact with different cultures even like learning new stuff about workplace because I've never really had a job before so it's like I'm literally learning in every workshop I go home and I've learned something new and I get to call my mom oh mom I learned this oh there was this guy who was talking about this this and that so it's really cool because it's like continual learning but in a really fun way that I get to enjoy as well yeah thanks so much <laughs>